I wanted to uh, I wanted to tell a quick story about how my father was literally the best father to ever exist. So when I was younger, from the ages of maybe like four to 10 years old, my dad would give me, he had like a bunch of dollar bills stored in the cabinet. So in our kitchen, we would have like in the cabinets, at the top, he would have like dollar bills stored, like, you know, maybe like 50 bucks or something like that. To me, it seemed like a lot. I was like, oh shit, $50, right? And every time, I didn't want to go to like wrestling practice or MMA practice or things like that because he'd always have me in uh, like MMA cage fighting when I was younger. He had me in wrestling. He had me, he had me in jiu-jitsu, all these types of things, right? He would say, oh, well, I'll give you a dollar if you go. Right? So he'd always give me a dollar if I went. And I would always put up a fight, but when I got that dollar, I'd be like, oh, thank you. You know, I made, it made it better, right? And I'm gonna do the exact same thing with my kids. And every time he forced me to go to something like this, like jiu-jitsu, you know, MMA, wrestling, things like this, I would always tell him, I don't want to go, I don't want to go. But he would tell me, he said, one day when you're older, you'll thank me. And it wasn't until about a year ago, I remembered everything, and I was doing some jiu-jitsu training uh, and boxing, things like this. And I was like, hey dad, you remember when you used to always tell me that, you know, one day I'll thank you? He goes, yeah, and I was like, well, today's that day I'm thanking you. Thank you for putting me through all that shit. My dad always taught me, the world's black and white. You're a loser or you're a winner. There's no in between. And there was this gray area of argument that I've heard from most people. And it was, <clears throat> well, if you tried your hardest, that's all that matters. But I can tell you right now, if you actually try your hardest all of the time, and you're always giving it your all, you literally can't lose. That's what my dad taught me. And my dad would always say this one formula. He would always say, God plus work equals success 100% of the time. So if you put in the work and you truly try your hardest 100% of the time, you are always going to win. He would always say, you either didn't try long enough. So if you're trying to start a business, you know, with your home renovating business, you're trying to start a social media or something, you're either not trying hard enough or you didn't try hard enough for long enough. Because the Bible says it may tarry. That means it may take a long time, but for surely it will come at an appointed time. So it may tarry, it may take a long time, but for surely it will come at a point in time. It also says faith without works is dead. What that means is you can put in the work, you, I mean, sorry, that means you can have faith all you want in God, but if you're not willing to put in the work, he won't provide it for you. So you can sit there and pray, God, please give me a million dollars. You can truly believe in your heart that he will give you that million dollars. But if you don't work, you know, 16 hours a day to get that million dollars, you'll never be successful in life. And that's what my dad taught me. And I have lived by everything he's taught me ever since I was a little kid. And that's how I've become like so successful for at such a young age. So that's my commercial shit.